Hello everybody, welcome back to our new upgraded series on videos for the One Identity Safeguard product. In this series we're going to cover the latest features of the versions 2.2 to 2.5 we have recently added to the product. It is planned that Safeguard will get a major upgrade expected to be around the June timeframe this year. But at this time, when the product is available, we're going to create a brand new series and then we're going to talk all, on all the features that will be available then in much more detail as we are doing now. Okay, let's start. As you may know, Safeguard offers an additional function or functionality uh, regarding or in addition to the uh, privilege password management or the session management and this is called application to application integration. This is mainly used to remove hard-coded passwords in scripts or enable applications to interact on a programmatic level to the safeguard system to request accesses or to request passwords and to process them in an application automatically. In our version 2.2, we have done a lot, lots of work to enhance this uh, integration. So if you want to configure this, go to the settings menu and select the application to application topic under the external integration. And now you have the capability to configure this functionality. And as you see here in this example in my test system, we already have defined something that we are currently testing now, but this is not of importance today, but that may be something in the near future. So if you want to enable something like an application to talk to the safeguard system and you want to configure this or just to configure the support for this, just click on the plus, just give it a name, give it a description if you want. And then you have two possibilities to select what, how this should work. And the first one is the access request broker. With the access request broker, you can define that the third party application can initiate an access request of behalf of an authorized user so that the authorized user can be notified of the available request and log into the safeguard to retrieve the password or start the session. If you want to use the credential retrieval function, then the third party application can retrieve a credential from the safeguard vault in order to perform an automated function on the target asset. And this can be used to replace hard coded passwords in procedures, scripts and other programs you want to cover with that. So in this case, just if you want to click on the access request broker, you have to provide a user that should be used for that function. And because the application is communicating to the safeguard on the API level, there is pretty much no way to authenticate the requesting application to the safeguard system instead of using, a, of course, a user, because you need a user to log into safeguard, but the user does not need to provide a password because this is missing. And you have to use a certificate based user. So in this case, if you don't have any certificate user, you should, of course, have them somehow defined in the system here under your user tab and your user management tab in Safeguard. So this one we're using for the different integration I showed you earlier. So in this case, you see that this is a user with some certificate linked to it and the thumbprint refers to the certificate in the system. If you, on the other hand, want to configure the credential retrieval, this is pretty much the same. You have to select the certificate user, of course, and then you have to select the credential retrieval. And in this case, you have to select the account you want to retrieve the uh, credentials for. That's it. 